Hello children. Have you wondered how can a karate player break an ice slab or huge stack of concrete slabs with a single blow? Well, this could be well understood by applying Newton's second law of motion. But first, what's Newton's second law of motion? As now we know, Newton's second law of motion states that the rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to the applied unbalanced force and it is in the direction of the force. So, if a body was moving with initial velocity u and final velocity v due to the force applied for time t, then f is proportional to the rate of change of momentum. And we already know momentum is product of mass and velocity. So, Initial momentum would be mu, final momentum would be mv and rate of change of momentum would be mv minus mu by t. So, when the karate player gives a karate chop, he hits the slab very fast. So, if you see, the momentum of hand changes to zero very fast as v becomes zero. But, if you see, U was very high as he hit the slab very fast. T is very small as the hand changed its momentum to zero in a fraction of a second. So, the value of force is very high which means this method enables him to exert very high force on the slab and thus he is able to break the slab into pieces.